I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to learn how to find a new function which is product of two given functions. Determine equation of new function h of x equals to f of x times g of x and then sketch its graph for x greater than or equal to minus 4 and less than or equal to 4. Given f of x equals to 2x minus 4 and g of x equals to x plus 3. Now let's do the first part which is finding equation of product of these two functions. So h of x is given to us as equal to f of x times g of x. f of x is 2 times x minus 4. So we'll write here 2 times x minus 4 times g of x which is x plus 3 x plus 3 well we can factor 2 and then write this as x minus 2 times x plus 3 so that is h of x as you can see it's a quadratic function and it has two zeros one is at x equals to 2 the other one is at x equals to minus 3 now we need to graph this function. So for graphing let me sketch the coordinate plane. So that's the y-axis and here we have the x-axis. Now we want to sketch h of x over here and that too within a domain of minus 4 to plus 4. Let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and let me make some divisions here. We'll decide about the scale depending on the y values which we calculate, right? So it's a good idea to calculate some values. So for that, what we can do is we can make table of values, right? So let me make a table of values here. So we'll have x values, correct? And then we'll find corresponding h of x values. So we need x values from minus 4 to 4 so we can find for minus 4 and these are critical points which is minus 3 for us right minus 3 will give us a 0 and then some more points we'll take and then we should take plus 4 as an extreme point and then we have minus 3 plus 2 is a good point we know it is 0 right and between plus 2 and minus 3, we are expecting axis of symmetry, right? So in this case, a minimum since this parabola opens upwards. So if I add them and divide by 2, I get a value of half, right? Anyway, so half is somewhere in between. We will take, we can calculate 3 and um, let's say, let's take value of zero here first right some values have taken and then we'll sketch the graph for this function as i said um, if you multiply and get all these values well for example for minus four if i write minus four here in that case minus four minus two is minus six so we get two times you can use calculator and that way is well do fast calculations 2 times within bracket minus 4 minus 6 times okay so let's calculate now these values starting with let us say minus 4 so at minus 4 this will be minus 6 so we have 2 times minus 6 and that will be minus 1. So this gives us a value of 12 positive. Is that okay? So this is 12. Now for the second one, minus 3, we know it is 0. If I put 0 here for x, then I have 2 times minus 2, which is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, with a negative sign. So we have minus 12 here. For 2, again, it will be 0. For plus 3, it is 1 here, right? 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And 3 plus 3 is 6. 
that gives us again a value of 12. And then for 4, we'll have 4 minus 2 is 2, and this is 4 plus 3 is 7. So 7 times 2, 14, 14 times 2 as 28, right? <clears throat> and of course, the zeros, let's start with minus 3 and plus 2. So 1, 2, 3, minus 3 is 0 for us, 1, 2, that is another 0 for us. Since we know this parabola is going to open upwards, minimum will be midway between these two. So we should actually find, so midway between them is 2 minus 3, which is minus 1, half of that. So half of minus 1 is minus 0 0.5. So h of minus 0 0.5 will be 2 times, if I write minus 0 0.5, I get minus 2.5 times, here I get 2.5, right? Which is 625 times 2 is 13.5, right? Let me use calculator. So you say 2.5 times 2.5 times 2 with a negative sign it gives minus 12.5 so minus 12.5 is our minimum correct since we are getting 12 here so we'll use a scale of let us say this is 3 each so we'll say this is this is positive 3 this is negative 3 for us so we have 3 6 9 negative right and 9 and then this is negative 12 for us okay so so we have let's plot these points now so we have just changed our y units to 3 each right 3 6 9 12 so that is how scale is so this is relatively much smaller in size economizing on the space minus 4 12 so at minus 4 we have positive 12 so that's the point at minus 4 Add minus 3, it is 0. Add 0, it is minus 12. So that's the point, minus 12. And at minus 0.5, we have a minimum, which is slightly more than minus 12. So that is the minimum point for us. At 3, it is 12. So 1 um, plus 3, it is 12. So 1, 2, and 3 that is kind of we should calculate at plus 3 what is the answer so it should be 3 plus 3 is 6 times 2 is 12 that is correct okay so so 3 is 12 so that comes here yeah that's correct that's fine so 3 is 12 even from symmetry it should be there and at 4 it is 28 so it's kind of way way ahead right so let that be the point well, these points are enough to sketch the graph. So we can sketch from minus 4 to plus 4. So that is the minus 4 extreme with the minimum at minus half. And then we can kind of extend it to this point, which we'll just label, right? We'll say this point for us is 428, okay? And this point for us is minus 412 correct and that minimum for us is minus half and minus 12.5 I think with this we have fairly good parabola so that is the graph of the function so the idea here is when you have a function to sketch recognize the function and when you graph it it should look like that right and always try to find the critical key values so that a good graph can be plotted. I hope this example helps you to understand how to sketch and how to find a new function using given functions. Remember one more thing. When we are graphing between these two limits, there should not be arrows at the end. The graph has to terminate at these points since that is the domain for your function. I hope that explains everything for me and you understand what we're trying to do so this is h of x for us and that's the function h of x thank you